On April 1st of 2023, me and my very, very small team, which is just really me and my buddy Chris, set out on a mission to go from $0 per month in revenue, absolute zero, to seven figures in 16 weeks. Now, I genuinely did not believe it was possible, but I thought, hey, if I shoot that far and I only hit halfway, then that'll be pretty good. Like if in 16 weeks, if we're doing 30 or even 50K a month, then I think I'd be pretty happy with my coaching business. And I just talked to Chris today and he also kind of thought the same thing like there's absolutely no way that that is possible to go from zero to seven figures in three and a half months and we just collected over ninety seven thousand dollars in cash in the last 30 days not revenue but actual cash collected in the last 30 days in our coaching business and i'm going to show you exactly how i did it so in this video i'm going to go over the three phases that i went through in my coaching business and they aren't really the conventional phases you probably hear people go through in a coaching business because we scaled so quickly Quickly, I think the stages that I went through maybe are a little bit different. And so maybe if you're wanting to scale quickly, or maybe if you're wanting to get to 30 to hundred thousand dollars a month in profit in your coaching business, then this video is going to be very, very valuable for you. So before I go into the three stages, the first thing I have to talk about is the pre stage. Like before you actually enter the three stages, what is required of you to know, to have credibility wise in order to actually launch a coaching program to begin with? Because I hear about a lot of people who are like, dude, let me, let me show uh, people how to get to 50 K a month with an agency. Here, let me you know show people how to how to start an Amazon FBA business or let me coach people on this and they actually have no credibility on the thing they want to coach other people on and I have to kind of pause and be like yo dude before you coach someone on it you have to actually do the thing yourself so the only requirement to coach somebody on something is that you have actually done it yourself so when I actually started my coaching journey I figured out all right, what are the skills that I have I had built a marketing agency before all the way up to sixty thousand dollars a month so I decided okay I have some skills I have some things that I feel like I'm credible to coach on client acquisition how to run a business that sort of stuff and so what I did was I launched a coaching offer helping agency owners and I kind of knew long term that I actually wanted to coach coaches, which sounds weird in itself, but I knew long-term that's where I wanted to be at. So I figured that I had to build the coaching business first. So I first coached on what I actually knew, which was client acquisition, helping agency owners. Even though in my agency, I actually helped agency owners scale past the hundred thousand dollars a month in my marketing agency, but I still figured that I had to have had a coaching business myself in order to coach other people on how to start a coaching business. So what I did was I built that coaching business up to $30,000 a month working with strictly agency owners. Then once I had built the coaching business to 30,000 a month, then I would show other coaches how to get to 30,000 a month. So pre actual coaching, you know, launching the coaching program, you need to actually have credibility in order to coach someone else on the thing you want to coach on. Now that we have that clear, blatant, out of the way, if you have a skill, if you have something that you have done before and you can show other people a step-by-step -step process on exactly how to do it, here is how to go through stage one, which in my business was zero to $30,000 per month. And I kind of broke this up into the team that you actually need to get from zero to 30, 30 to 50,000 and then 50,000 to hundred thousand dollars a month in your coaching business. So zero to 30 is a grind. It's not easy. You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You don't think, man, hundred K a month, just a few months away. I never thought it was, and it was really, really difficult. I was going through a bunch of different offers. I was trying to figure out the messaging. I was trying to figure out who am I gonna serve? How am I gonna help them? I had I had these skills, but I didn't know how to relay them to a client. I didn't know who to work with. And so zero to 30,000 a month was really me just figuring out what the heck my messaging was, what my offer was, how to run a coaching business, because I really had no idea what I was doing. And from this zero to 30,000 a month stage, it was simply just me and my creative director, Chris, and he would film and edit all the YouTube videos and all the Instagram content we posted. So it was just me and a content editor, and that was the exact team that took me from zero to 30,000 a month. I was running the entire social funnel by myself, appointment setting for myself, taking sales calls for myself, making the content, fulfilling other coaching, and it was a grind from zero to 30,000 a month. Just be aware, it is not gonna be easy for you to go from zero to 30. It is an absolute grind. And if you want to actually scale past 30, it's gonna be completely different on going from 30 to 50 and then 50 to 100. There's completely different things that you have to do at each level, but I will tell you right now, it is going to be hard. You're not gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're gonna think, man, I should just go back to the other thing I was doing before because I thought this coaching thing was gonna be so easy. It's gonna be so much better than my other business. And in reality, Coaching is not easier than an agency. Coaching is not easier than running an actual Amazon business yourself. Coaching is not easier than just being in shape by yourself or dating yourself, right? If you're a dating coach, right? Coaching is not easier. What it is, is it's more scalable. Instead of you doing the skill yourself, now you're simply just showing other people 
how you did it and how you do it. So on this three and a half month journey to $100,000 a month in our coaching business, zero to $30,000 per month actually took about a month and a half to two months to consistently get there. So it took up a good chunk of the journey and the, the latter part of it was actually a lot quicker. The reason for that is because once you figure out that messaging, the offer and what's converting, then it becomes really easy to scale because you know you basically just have a lever and you can tell Instagram and YouTube, hey, I need more leads, I need more sales calls, book them for me, I'll take them. And then it's really just about how much capacity do you have? So that's stage one, zero to 30,000 a month. Now stage two is 30,000 to $50,000 a month. And this is where you increase ad spend, right? You have an offer that's actually converting and you know that it works. Your service delivery is starting to get dialed in. You're learning how to be a good coach. You're starting to build out your course modules. The community aspect of your coaching program is starting to come together. People are starting to be cohesive and in a group and helping each other. And this is where you can maybe start to see the light at the end of the tunnel and think, okay, this coaching business actually might work out. And in this stage of my business, it was me, it was my creative director, my content person, and then it was an appointment setter because I simply just had too many leads to deal with myself. I tried to appointment set for myself inside of the Instagram DMs, booking in calls with people that were interested in my program, but I simply, there was just too many people. Plus I had to do all of the service delivery, I had to do all the coaching, I had to film content still, right? So there's a lot for me to do and I simply could not do it all myself. So I had to hire an appointment setter and I actually went through like three or four inbound appointment setters and these are US based appointments appointment setters before I finally found an absolute killer of an appointment setter. So again, this stage is not easy. 30 to $50,000 a month is not easy, but it does get a lot, lot more simple because now you have an offer that works. You have messaging that's starting to convert and you're really starting to dial in exactly who your ideal prospect is. And you're starting to build up some case studies and testimonials. And then things really start to have a snowball effect as you show those testimonials and those case studies to ideal prospects. So this is a three man team all the way up to $50,000 a month. And at this stage in your business, you're spending anywhere from $1,000 a month to $10,000 a month on ads, depending on how well your offer is converting. I personally have never gone above $4,000 a month in ad spend to get to $100,000 a month. And that might sound absolutely insane to some people, but that is just the honest truth. Um, I've, I literally have not spent over $4,000 a month on ads and we collected $97,000 in cash in the last 30 days. That might sound insane, but it's true. Okay, now stage three. And before I go into stage three, I just wanna harp on this idea you get tempted to launch another offer right around stage three. Things are going well, right? The offer's converting. You're starting to bring in some real profit that you can actually live off of, that you can travel with, buy that wedding ring, whatever it might be. Things are going well, and us as entrepreneurs, our mind immediately goes to, oh, how can I f things up? How can I screw things up? How can I add another offer? How can I add complexity? How can I go hire a big team? How can I add a done for you aspect for my clients and make right? We, we want to start complicating things right around this stage. And I was tempted to do this as well. But in order to get to 50 to $100,000 a month, you have to do more of what is working. You now have an offer that converts. You have messaging that is really good and that people resonate with. You have a team of you, an appointment setter, a content person, and now you have a VA, a virtual assistant or a client concierge who can go in and take care of your calendar, manage your clients, manage client success, make sure clients are happy, make sure their questions are getting answered, make sure that course modules are sent to the right people. And this is gonna be a part-time VA. So now you have a team of three people plus you, so four team members in total to go from zero all the way to $100,000 a month. All you need is just four people, keep things lean, mean, and profitable. And so from the 50 to $100,000 a month stage, stage three, I really want you to stay laser focused on one offer, one funnel to 1 million. One offer, meaning the one thing that you sell, the one high ticket offer, anywhere from 3,000 all the way up to $15,000. One funnel, meaning the, the social funnel, the best converting funnel on planet earth, the social funnel. If you don't know what it is, DM me on Instagram, I'll send you a free uh, video on exactly what the social funnel is. Take this all the way to a million dollar run rate. Then maybe think about adding another offer, adding complexity, right? One offer, one funnel to one million. You have to stay laser focused in this stage because things start to get distracting. Things are going well. You think you should add something. You think you should you know, build a huge team. And that's not the reason that you started this business to begin with. The reason you started your coaching business to begin with was to have a lean, profitable business that brought you a great lifestyle that allows you to travel, work from wherever you want, and you can work three to five hours a day 
every single day, or you could take a week off like I am next week. That is why you started your coaching business. Now, the last part of this video is if you actually want to do this in your coaching business, if you wanna do the same thing that I've done, the same that I have shown my clients how to do, my other coaching clients, I have med spot coaches, agency coaches, I have fitness coaches, I have all sorts of different types of coach, dating coaches, right, that I coach personally. I coach all these different types of coaches. If you want to scale a coaching business, if you wanna pivot your agency to a coaching business, whatever it might be, then I am launching August 1st, what's called the community. Now, this is not a Discord. This is not a low ticket Discord. This is expensive. It's $250 per week, every week, and it's a six month full commitment. So it's a total of 6K paid across six months. And it includes what I call the four C's. So it includes course content. You're gonna get all the course content I've ever made on the entire social funnel system, how it works, how to acquire clients, all of the content you see on YouTube, plus a million more hours of stuff on how to do it. Coaching, meaning a weekly group coaching call with everybody in there, a big one and a half hour Q&A session to get your personal questions answered. And lastly, the part that I'm most excited about, two to three, what I call collectives that are in-person meetups all over the world every single year that you get to be a part of if you're a part of the community. That's what I'm launching August 1st, so keep your eyes out for that. But if not, follow me on Instagram down below. That's where I post all my content. Feel free to engage with me there and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.